Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a VPN to get a Brazilian IP address and make it seem as if you're in Brazil, or if you are already there, I'm going to show you how you can use a VPN to make it seem as if you are outside of Brazil. Now, the first question is, what's a VPN? What's an IP address? So firstly, an IP address is basically a number that tells other computers where you are and how they can find you, right? When you type in google.com, let's say, right? Other computers don't see google.com. They see a number that looks something like this. And this tells the other computers where you are and where they can find you, where to send all their information, very similar to a home address. Now, a VPN like this one over here, ExpressVPN, allows you to change your IP address. And it doesn't just do that. It'll also keep everything that you do private and secure. It'll keep it anonymous. The Brazilian government, no other government, not even ExpressVPN themselves can see what you're doing online when you're connected to a VPN like Express. And that's been verified by outside companies, all the VPNs that I'm going to talk about in this video have that outside independent verification nobody will know what you're doing and you can find out more about that in the description below i'm going to leave some more useful links where you can find out more about all the privacy and security of express vpn and these other vpns but importantly part of that whole privacy feature is that the vpn also changes your ip address and that makes it seem as if you're somewhere else in the world so right here in express vpn i'll just show you right i'm going to go to select location and here i have all the locations i have 100 countries that i can choose from over here so let's say i wanted to get a brazilian IP address. So I'm just going to search for Brazil. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to go to this big connection button, click connect. And now I will have a Brazilian IP, which means that anything that I connect to now using the internet will get that Brazilian IP address. They're going to think that I'm in Brazil. So if I went to Netflix, I would get offered the Netflix Brazilian library. I would be able to access all the shows that are available in Netflix that you would get if I was in Brazil, even though that's not physically where I am right now. That's where other computers will think I am because I have that Brazilian IP. And you can actually see your IP address. All you have to do is go to an IP finder website like this one over here. What is my IP address.com? And it'll say, this is my IP address. This is where computers think that I am. And this IP is going over to Brazil. So that means that any computer that I connect to will get this IP address and will think that I'm in Brazil. So if you wanted to access content that is only available in Brazil, you can do this. On the other hand, if you live in Brazil, and you're fed up with how they've been cracking down on social media and other websites, and you want to have a little bit more freedom on the internet, you can use a VPN to do that as well, right? Let's say we would just go over to ExpressVPN, and I can just search over here for the United States and click connect right here. And if I would actually go over here to this arrow, I would get more servers within the United States, more options. So I can click New York, right? And here I get this little message. It's saying that my traffic might be insecure when they're reconnecting me. So that's just part of it because there is some jump when they're moving me over from the Brazilian server to the New York one. But now I'm connected over to a server in New York. Now, if I go back to that IP finder website right over here and I refresh the page, I will get a new IP address that is going to New York. So if I was in Brazil and I did this, now any website that I go to will think that I am actually in New York. If the ban was still going on with X, then I would be able to access it. And you can pretty much access anything that you would be able to if you lived in New York, because that is where websites will think you are. So that is how you can get a Brazilian or pretty much any IP address using a VPN. Now, the question is, which VPN should you go with? And my general recommendation, my personal favorite VPN is this one here, ExpressVPN. I was just using it. You saw in this video right now how easy it is to use. You just find a location, you connect up in just a few seconds, and it just works well. It just gets the job done. It's fast. It's very secure. They have a lot of security audits. So especially for a country like Brazil, you're going to be able to rest assured knowing that everything you're doing online is very secure. There was actually a case a few years back where the Turkish government tried to get information from ExpressVPN and they just didn't have it. They just don't keep any personal information local on their own servers. So it's a very secure VPN, very reliable and very fast. However, the drawback to ExpressVPN is that it is quite simple. So it doesn't have a lot of advanced features. It has simple things like a kill switch and split tunneling. And I'm going to leave full in-depth reviews for all of these VPNs in the description below. So you can find out more about these things. What is split tunneling, what is a kill switch, but those are some basic features that you're going to find in a VPN, right? Whereas with a VPN like NordVPN, again, there will be a full in-depth review for this VPN in the description below. You're going to get a lot more features. You're going to get a lot of specialty servers. For example, just one example, right? You're going to get specialty 
these servers for torrenting. So these are servers that are going to be optimized for torrenting, keeping your data safe, keeping the torrent speeds fast. You're going to get add-ons like basically a mini antivirus over here. So there's just a lot of other stuff that comes with NordVPN, a lot of other things you can do with it. It's also a very fast VPN and also very secure. So this is another very good option if you want some more features. On the other hand, if you're on a budget, then the cheapest VPN to go with is probably going to be Surfshark, right? This VPN is the cheapest of these three. The premium plan for Surfshark is going to be cheaper than the basic plan for a lot of other VPNs. But at the same time, you're going to get some very high end features that you don't normally find in a VPN at this price. So that's just a quick breakdown of these three different VPNs. I've tested out a lot of different options, and these three have come out consistently as the top on the market right now. So if you're looking for a good VPN, you can find more information. And I'll also be sure to have some discount links in the description below in case you want to try them out. It'll save you some extra money. So that will be there as well. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.